What's going on YouTube? This is Flopfish here and I'm bringing you a tutorial slash templates for the new YouTube backgrounds. Um, these are pretty much gonna come into effect on March 7th which is in two days. Uh, so everything's changing over on that day so I'd highly suggest you to change your background over because if you don't then you're not gonna have a good looking channel. Um, so I'm just bringing you a couple nice little templates. This one is your regular template. This one is your partner template. I'll go more in depth about this one later. But pretty much this is just what I use. It's very simple. You have your fade, which makes it look a lot more professional, especially with the black background so it just all fades in. You can add a color overlay to make this whatever color you want. Then I go with the three vignettes or fades as whatever you want to call them so uh, they all kind of when you put them all together they look a lot better like as you can see it kind of fades it more and more each time but it's getting that right combination so that someone with a bigger screen doesn't necessarily see like they still see the same thing they just don't see like a cut line um, it does happen but you know not much you can do about that and the major difference in this is let's just throw this up here a bit hang on uh, right there. So this is at 100%. This is the old background. The red is the old one. That's the new one. So you, you see, there's a bit of a difference there. Uh, not much, not a major difference, but you also are now going to be able to have that nice little slot in the top there where you can put a URL, uh, to maybe a link to your website or something or a slogan. Um, very useful. And especially if you're not a partner and you have a website and yeah that's about it um, if you guys want to see the size I used uh, it's uh, inches is 24 by 30 pretty much pixels I'd go with this because it's just tried and true to what worked for me uh, it generally fits most screens the only part you have to be careful with is around here but uh, yeah that's pretty much it for this uh, so that's 1712 pixels is the width 2168 is the height and that's about it um, as you can tell you might have trouble putting stuff in over there because it doesn't really work out that good but um yeah that's pretty much it on the old template on the new template you're going to notice when you upload it, you don't have to upload your banner separately. But I still included this banner area in here because you are going to need that. Now, why you're going to need that is because, uh, as you can tell, you're going to need to image map it. And in order to do that, what you want to do is you want to put all of this in a folder. I'll actually group it for you. Then in order to do that, just duplicate it once, hide it merge everything together after you hit uh, control or command depending on what you're using I'm using a Mac so I hit command it selects it you merge it and you copy it create not a new layer uh, you create a new whatchamacallit new file paste it in and then what you do is you can save this file save if you wanted to as your banner and then you can use an image mapper online to kind of put your links in for you if you don't have someone that does it for yourself um, it's pretty straightforward to do I will just actually I'll make a quick one for you here let's just go uh, new and go I like waffles so say that was your background you go file save as uh, just save it as a JPEG. JPEG. Dot, wait, fail. Um, save it as a JPEG. And untitled one, whatever, good enough. And so, what you're going to want to do when you have that done is you're going to want to open Safari or your internet browser and you're going to want to type in imagemaps.com with the hyphen in there or dash. Uh, what's this? What? this is going to do for you is you're just going to choose your file so let's go untitled jpeg and then so it's uploaded and then you start mapping your image so it'll come up with here wait 10 seconds it's all free for you to use um, 
it's pretty powerful because you don't really have to know any coding and to do this in real time would be a ton of it take a long long time so what you're going to want to do is you can do a rectangular shape uh, generally the easiest and quickest to do so say I wanted to go there and then I wanted to link to this to be youtube.com slash say this is uh, the JLAD's channel, uh, Lieutenant General Allow. You can just go save, and then it will give you your coding. So when you get, you can hit get your code, and all you do is you take this, you copy it, you paste it in, and it's good. So when you click on this, it'll take you right to this channel. And as you can see, this is one of the ones I've done. Um, he didn't really import his code though. Hint, hint. Um, no, nothing major, but you can kind of see that the template works. This is on the new template. Very easy modification. It looks pretty smooth. Um, the only problem, like I said, is when you get into a place like this, it, the fades become an issue, but most people don't have a screen that'll fit that, and if they do, they can suffer. Um, no, but in all honesty, it's pretty much that's pretty much how you do it. Um, once again, if you guys want the dimensions for this, Let's go, don't save, image, canvas size, the dimension is the exact same, but I'd highly suggest you download the tutorial, because or not tutorial, the template, because getting it set up right where everything's centered takes forever, like it takes for days to get it set up right. So all you, once again, all you're going to want to do is we can just delete this group here, and then all you have here is your banner, your fade. And if you are a machinima partner, I've given you guys some nice little stuff that you can throw in your banner area, like little logos and stuff. Um, I prefer to have the stroke with the white text one, this one right here. And if you are a machinima director, uh, you've got the nice little banners up top if you want them. I only have Respawn, Sports, and Realm. I found those online somewhere, I forget where. But... That's about it, guys. If you've if this has helped you in any way, please leave a like, uh, favorite it, whatever you want to do. Like I said, they're for download in the description, and you know there's really not much to them. Go ahead and have some fun with them. Spice up your channel a little bit. If you need me to, if you have any questions, feel free to message me or leave a comment. Um, I am going away probably. Well, I'll be away from my computer. It's getting repaired and stuff for another week uh, starting on I believe it's Saturday uh, just upgrading it and getting some software installed and yeah I'm not really gonna be in the mood to answer YouTube questions and I'm gonna be cleaning out my really messy room so hopefully you guys enjoy it. <laughs> well hopefully you guys don't have questions sharing then if you do just leave them there and I'll try to get to them whenever I can um, I probably won't though till the second week uh, which will be probably the Saturday or Sunday after. Uh, probably the Sunday after, I'm guessing. But, you know, no, nothing big there. Um, like I said, you can Google all your icons, your Twitter icons. Make sure you download them as PNGs, though, and just drag and drop them right onto here because you can resize them and it'll keep it, it'll keep it proportional. And also make sure you... Um, you can do that with anything. Uh, Yosh logos, if you find one, if you're a Yosh partner, you can pretty much, you have unlimited cre creativity. And hopefully you guys enjoy this. And like I said, if this helps you, please leave a like. If you, if you have a question, send me a message. And until then, guys, um, I will be having a kind of tips and tricks things for YouTube background. So stay tuned if you want to see that. You can hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching, and sorry for the ramble on, but everything's below in the description for you. Feel free to go at it and make yourself a nice little background. Take it easy.